<clears throat> okay, so the second mod of the day that I'm going to look at for you is this. So in comparison with the mongrel that we've just looked at, this is another brass mod. But this is the Connoisseur by League of Scoundrels. Now this, a little bit dirty, it needs a bit of a clean. But this is a, a quite a high-end device really, I suppose. Um, it is... It was designed, I suppose, as the sort of the entry level version of the League of Scoundrels mods. So something a little bit more affordable. So I think they're about 150 quid when they first came out. I, oh, I picked this one up um, second hand, but um, it's, you know, it's still in great condition. Needs a bit of a polish, as I said, but um, let's have a little look at it. So you've got very lightly engraved this time on here. You can see Connoisseur down the side so it's that logo right there um, it comes in this box as you can see so it's a sort of a pop-off box with some bubble wrap and a card telling you how to use it not a huge amount to be surprised of that in there though uh, this one's signed by Benny um, the guy who invented it or designed it, and as you can see, this is brass. Um, in terms of this one, it's actually one of the safer mods that you can get. So it's not a hybrid. This has got a 510 pin. I say a pin. It's more. It's actually a ball bearing. So let's take it apart. So at the top, we've got this top cap, which has like three threads. So in comparison with the Mongol. A tiny amount of threading in there. Um, three threads at the top. What you can do is then, and, and it's difficult to do at the moment because this is quite firmly in there, but you see this piece here, you can see it there. This is a piece of plastic or Delrin or whatever it might be that's threaded, which threads into the top piece there, and then there's a ball bearing so you get an even point of contact on the top. If you can see there. And you can adjust this up and down for battery rattle or your atomizer, whatever you want to do. Um, then you've got inside, you've got some nice beefy threads on the inside there. You've got this beautiful sort of hourglass shape. So it's flattened down the side and then tapered on the insides there, which is lovely. And then got some nice knurling. Are you going to focus for me? Some knurling on the button. Um, and some venting down there with your skull that then unscrews nice and easily again very th few threads on that switch there and then you have a um, another adjuster there which is reverse threaded so you can unscrew this and then you have your domed firing pin like so, which is copper, and then you've got more venting on the inside there, which corresponds with the venting on the back. Um, what you would do to disassemble this is just unscrew this pin here, and then it pops out, and then there's magnets inside here, so opposing magnets, which really nice and simple. Um, Got to remember that this is reverse threaded. I suppose my only sort of real gripe with this is that actually some of the um, the plastic threading is not as good as maybe I would like. Um, I don't really know why they used plastic threads um, on the metal. I can just see it getting eaten away, getting chewed up if you're a little bit rough with it. It's a little bit counterintuitive with the reverse thread sometimes. But that's how you adjust your battery rattle. Oh, you can also put a buffer, so a little o-ring on the top there to give you a little bit of bounce. Um, I don't use it, I don't think you need to use it particularly, um, and I've lost it a couple of times, but you can put that in there, and that gives your battery a little bit of cushioning. But nice looking switch. To make sure that you go the right way up, you make sure that you've got your Connoisseur logo at the top. Screw that in nicely like that. Just going to use the goon again on this. 
fresh battery, I think. Screw the top cap in just a little bit. Screw your RDA on top of there. Screw it back down. You hear there's a bit of battery rattle. So we adjust for that with this. So unscrew it. Take up for the battery rattle. And you're fine. And there we go. And there we have it. Then you're firing. Um, the vape I get off this is absolutely outstanding. It really is. It's a great vape. It's a really nice, comfortable mod. It fits in your hand beautifully, and the button's lovely. To be fair, there's nothing to not really like about this. Um, the only things that I would say is it's a little bit more fiddly to set up than a hybrid, but other than that, nothing. Never misses a beat. It is a slightly taller mod to accommodate for the button and the hybrid. Not the hybrid, the 510. So if you compare it with the Mongol, for example, you can see it is quite considerably smaller. But if you look at where the... There, see, look to the, at the top cap and the button. It's about the same size in terms of the actual piece that you have the, um, uh, the battery in. Yeah, the cracking little mod. Really, really been enjoying this. Um, it's, as I said, it's a little bit more of an expensive mod. Um, but to be fair, you know, I think you get what you pay for. Um, especially with the American mods, they are going to be more expensive. They always have been more expensive, especially in the UK market. But yeah, really, really nice piece of kit. Highly recommend it. Yeah, so that is the Connoisseur. <clears throat> next one so we're cracking through them today but i will be back in a moment with another mod cool cheers bye